Hello drone racers and welcome to what I'm going to call a drone racer 101 quick hit. This is a quick one on the Tyrannus Plus. So the throttle on this generally defaults to being a notched throttle. Back in the day when we were ordering radios, we would order a airplane mode or heli mode. And what that meant was the airplane mode was notched and the heli mode was not because you need a smoother throttle. You might need to be between two notches with a heli. It's actually just a screw inside that makes the difference. In this quick video, we're gonna actually adjust the throttle on here. Yours might be notched, so we'll show how to make it not be notched. Or in this case, mine is not notched, but it's too loose. It's just a little too soft. It moves too much, so I wanna change that. I recommend some foam or something to set your radio on. You don't wanna set it right on the gimbals when you're doing this work can be hard on them. There are six screws you need to take out. Two here, two here, and then two down here. You don't have to take out the battery or anything. And then the back will come off. So what's difficult with this radio is the switches up top here are not really held in place. They'll probably fall out on you. So you wanna get those lined up. It's easiest just to put those in the front and then be able to pull the back back. That will expose you to the connectors here. You can see that the left side is very loose because this side is notched and the rail against here has notches in it and that's what causes it to stutter when it has have that grip. The right side is smooth and presses against a smooth wheel. So in this case, all I need to do is take this side and screw it down just a little bit tighter. Not much, it doesn't take much because I don't want it to stick. Do a little more than that. How much play do we have here? I could probably screw this down all the way. I can actually feel about where I want it. So that's actually, I do maybe want it not quite pushed down all the way for me. There we go. Now I can feel from the front that that's. It's smooth, but it's stiffer, which is where I want it. So there we go, I'm all set. That's, that's really all it took. Now we can put the back back on, put the screws back in place. There we go, now I have a nice smooth, stiff throttle. The main concern is if it's too loose is when you try and yaw, it's gonna move around the throttle. You could push it and pull it the wrong direction. So now it's gonna hold in place just a little bit better. And all my switches still work, so we're good to go. And until next time, remember, I like it a little stiff.